वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल दैट इज़ फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथ्स विच इज़ डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन एप्टीट्यूड ऑफ एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट विच वॉज ऑफ टी सी एस एंड क्यू टी ओके सो लेट्स बिगिन विथ दीज काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो बेसिकली दीज आर द एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट कंडक्टेड बाई दीज मल्टी नेशनल कंपनीज लाइक टी सी एस इन्फोसिस एक्सेंट श्योर एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट so you know this is just one round or uh, in which if you clear this then you go to the next round which should be basically your interviews and all of that okay so uh, if like i said before also i had made few videos on that and i got a good response for all of, from all of you all so if you want me to make more videos of these kinds then please let me know so by typing a yes in the comment section okay so the first question over here is what is the product of roots of x From the following equation, which is 5x square minus 3x plus 8 is equals to zero. Please understand, you for this particular question you will solve it in what one second. Okay, you do not do not have to find the actual roots. You just they are what they are trying to tell you is to find the product of root. And you remember if your product of root like the root be x1 and x2. So if they had asked you what is your product of roots, it would be nothing but what is the constant which is what Eight divided by the coefficient of x square, which is five. So answer over here would be eight upon five. See, please understand. There is basically you need to remember this eight a x square plus b x square plus c is equals to zero. This is the standard form of representation of a quadratic equation. So x one. So if you and let's say x one and x two are the two roots. So if they want you to find the product, will be nothing but what c upon a. And if they want you to find the sum of the roots x1 plus x2, that would be nothing but minus b upon a. Okay, so please, please remember this for many such kind of questions. You will save a lot of time uh, when you solve these in uh, when you solve these in these kind of aptitude tests which are time bound. Okay, so next question over here is in how many ways. can the letter word position can the letters of the word position be arranged so first very important you will count how many letters are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so we have eight letters so they will be arranged in eight factorials now please understand if all the letters were different then your answer would be eight factorials but here we will see we are seeing that o letter o is getting repeated twice <coughs> sorry Similarly, letter I is also getting repeated twice. So you will divide by what two factorial of O letter, and you will again divide it by two factorial by of I letter. Please understand, if I was getting repeated thrice, you would have multiplied two factorial and three factorial. Okay, but since it is two times, both of the letters are getting repeated, so we are just doing two factorial into two factorial, which is getting divided, and your numerator is eight factorial. So your answer is eight into Seven <clears throat> into six into five into four into three into two into one, okay, upon four. So ones are, and let's do this four. Oh, uh, sorry, this is twos are. Okay, so please understand. We know that five, four, three, two, one. Remember, five factorial is very easy. It is nothing but, uh, it is always going to be one twenty. Okay. So one twenty into two is going to get you two forty, and two forty into six seven into six is what forty two. So two forty into forty two. So basically two forty into forty two. That is what you are doing. That should get you one zero eight double zero. Okay. So you might be wondering why am I doing this so fast and how am I doing this? It's very simple. I either do the splitting method or I do the rainbow method okay so the splitting method i don't think i have a video on that but i have made a separate video of rainbow method whose link will be somewhere ab available on top or in the description so please go ahead and check that out okay so now over here i can say my answer is sorry no 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 sorry my bad here i think i made a mistake yeah it should be 1 sorry the answer should be 10080 yeah So yeah, my option should be option D is my answer. 
okay so now the next is what is the average of all the numbers between 25 and 93 okay over here also students please understand you do not have to put arithmetic progression here also this entire question you will be solving it two seconds okay but before going uh, ahead with that please i would request all of you all that please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos okay so now over here we have 25 and 93 all you have to do is just 25 plus 93 divide by 2 why i can do this please understand they are all natural numbers so the difference between the two numbers or the difference in the arithmetic progression will be what one so in that case i just have to add uh, first term and the last term and then divide it by 2 so I get 8 and then I have 1 1 8 divided by 2 I get 5 and 9 so my average is nothing but 59 I hope you all are understanding how easy these kind of sums become okay students at the end of this video I'm going to put up a DIY question whose answers you can mention in the comment section okay so please do go ahead and stick around till the end of this video so now let's very quickly let's solve another question this is a bit different than uh, whatever whatever we have solved till now so the next this question is what is the remainder of 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 4 factorial plus 5 factorial plus 6 factorial plus 7 factorial going up up to 100 factorial divided by 7 so now understand students over here all you need to do is find 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 4 factorial plus 5 factorial plus 6 factorial and divide it by 7 why because anything which is divided by 7 uh, after 7 6 factorial which will have 7 factorial then 8 factorial 9 factorial all of them all of them i can say that 7 factorial is definitely divided by 7 8 factorial which can be written as what 8 into 7 right so that will also get divisible by 7 factor uh, sorry that also can be directly divisible by 7 okay so any number after 6 will have 7 as a number or as a product in the numerator because the factorial will always keep decreasing up to number 1 so definitely all those numbers which are above 6 will be divided by 7 so the remainder in this case would be 0 now let's first understand what is 1 factorial is 1 2 factorial is 2 3 factorial is 6 4 factorial is 24 5 factorial is 120 and 6 factorial is 720 now we have to divide that by 7 now this is what 30 30 plus uh, 120 is 50 150 so 720 plus 150 and then 1 and 2 so which is 153 so 3 then we have 7 and 8 so we have 873 and you have to divide it by 7 so we know that 7 into 12 gets you 84 so 3 is left so 7 into 4 gets you 28 so you subtract 28 from 33 what you are left with is 5 so remainder is 5 okay now time for your DIY I want you all to tell me what is the remainder or let's say now I'll change the question what is the average of natural numbers from 11 to 111 so do let me know your answers in the comment section so that's it for today I will see you in the next video Bye.